guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, for those of you guys that have been following me for a while, you watch me as I kind of bounce from location to location. I've done, I think, a few moves since I've been on YouTube, but this is one of the most exciting ones for me personally because I moved from Philly to New Orleans. So that's why there's a different backdrop behind me. And that's also why there is minimal to no furniture behind me because there has been huge massive amounts of transformation in my life which leads into the topic of this video which is about deep deep transformation and also death certain areas of your life that are dying and being reborn and refreshed and renewed as Pluto was retrograde and then direct now I do want to give a little disclaimer I do not have internet in this apartment who knew that in New Orleans that it would be so difficult to get internet? Um, and the earliest time that I could get was this upcoming Monday, which is tomorrow. And even then, I had to like beg for that. And who knows what's going to happen when that shows up because sometimes my phone goes out, and sometimes the internet goes out, wherever I'm at. It's so weird. But I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. It actually is one of the key reasons that for me moving down to New Orleans was I wanted to live a different life. I wanted to live a life that was more quality, more slow, more intentional, more purpose. And I think that this is the city that's gonna be able to do that for me. But that being said, I do need a little bit of patience um, this time because my camera, normally I film on my camera, now I have to film on my iPhone. It'll be easier for me to film and upload from my iPhone. So the quality of this video is a little shit, but I didn't want to not do this because this is so important and today is the day that Pluto finally goes direct after being retrograde since I think it was like April 22nd of, of this year. Um, one last disclaimer that I'll say is that I'm not gonna edit this video at all. This is just me and you hanging out in my living room right now. Maybe I'll be able to give you guys a tour, but it's just us hanging out and um, we're gonna be talking about Pluto going retrograde, Pluto going direct, how it is going to impact you, how it did impact you, what you can expect with Pluto going direct, why I'm so excited about it, what, what, how much change is going to happen into your life as you move forward, and what you need to do in order to work with this energy. Because Pluto is one of those planets that, you've heard me say this time and time again, that you really don't wanna mess with, you don't wanna fuck with Pluto because he comes with a heavy punch, just as heavy as Saturn, as Saturn. So if I had to look at um, the planets, I see uh, Saturn as having like knuckle, like brass knuckles, and then coming in and punching you in the face. Pluto is like death by fire, death by sword, like just, you know, really intense really intense and that's the thing too is like Pluto connects to death and transformation but anything that Pluto touches and is working to kill off and to remove out of your life it will break it down and that's that's the beauty about Pluto is that it's so slow it's so thorough it's so intentional and in everything that it is that it does it will see that there are weakened spots within your life and then work to completely remove it and break it down. And this is something that we see in nature. When something dies, um, it's because it's sick, it's because it's lived its life, it's because it was, you know, sorry, if you hear any noise, it's Franklin. He's got these little bells on and he's just been running around. He's been so busy. Say hi. You can't see him, hold on. Give me a bum. Say hi, Franklin. <laughs> he's like, put me down. This isn't a joke, ma. It is. He's been so busy lately. Um, but yeah, it's because something about that animal was weak and that's why it needed to get removed. And it's kind of a crazy metaphor too because Pluto is going to look at, Pluto wants you to be super, super strong. Pluto wants you to be your best self. And if you are not capable, well, Pluto understands that you're capable, but if you are resistant to rising up to that potential, then Pluto's gonna come in and wipe you out or wipe out certain things in your life because not everybody, not everything deserves a place within your life. And Pluto understands that. And as human beings, sometimes we'll see potential in something or we'll want something really bad, but the universe will see that, okay, th this is not, like it may look good on the outside, but internally, 
or long term, it's not going to serve you. Saturn and Pluto are the planets that are always thinking about long term and longevity and the quality of your life. So they will see that, they will pinpoint because they're not looking at just now, they're looking about light years ahead, they're years ahead of everyone else, including Uranus. So for that, they put you at the right place at the right time, but they have to make sure that you are there. They have to make sure that you're present. And the way to do that is by canceling out certain things in your life or creating an internal change within you. Come here, stop. Franklin, no. Ah, ah, don't do it. I've been training him really well, you can tell. Sorry, hold on. You gotta get used to these horses, baby. <laughs> so I'm also in the French Quarter and there's a lot of <gasps> ah, ah. There's a lot of horses that drive by and a lot of noise and he's still getting used to it because in Philly we were in the center but it wasn't nearly as loud and different. These noises are different here with um horses and stuff like that. And people, you know, being loud. But anyways, um, so I hope you don't guys don't mind if he joins us today. Bop, bop, bop. Okay, so yeah, you know, there's um, people and things and situations and opportunities that ideally we think, okay, this is it or this is great. But the universe, the cosmos are like, look, what you don't see is this, 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 and this, and this, or within yourself, because not everything is an external change. Sometimes it's an internal change where inside, internally, you're like, I, this is not the life that I want to live. This is not who I am. This is not what I want to do anymore. So when Pluto goes direct, it's working. I'm sorry. When Pluto goes retrograde, what he does is he turns his energy inward and then becomes way more reflective. And that's all the all the planets when they go retrograde so they start to turn their energy inward and they start to focus on these areas that that planet rules and in in this case it's areas of which uh, death and transformation in areas of money uh, finances intimacy um, security in some ways but that's connected more to Saturn uh, uh, deeply connecting to things that are purposeful, like purpose-filled for your life. Um, addictions, things that manipulate you, things that take advantage of you, how you use that power and that control for others, sexuality, um, expression on a deeper level. So these uh, levels of understanding of yourself and then also your environment. Um, and the other thing is, and this is where astrology gets complicated, is that you want to see what Pluto rules within your chart and then also where he's currently transiting because that house rules a certain area of your life and because it's under the influence of Pl Pluto, it's going to be influenced. So you want to check your rising sign. And if you'd like me to see, make a video about that because I, I keep getting that question. It's a very simple answer, but I can make a video about how to check your rising sign and sources that I recommend. And if you're part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe, you already know what sources I recommend for the most part. So when Pluto goes retrograde, that energy gets internalized. It starts to uh, revisit. It starts to revamp. It starts to break down. The other thing is that it will... Um, present into your life like old lessons or old people or old things that really have a grip on you a vice because ru Pluto rules that like manipulation it rules that connection that addiction that restraint on you that confinement that it's hard to break free it's hard to kind of shake loose so um, this could be drugs, this could be alcohol, this could be sex, this could be a person, this could be validation, this could be attention, this could be clothing, shopping, all of these things, whatever it is that Pluto rules within your chart. And as astrologers, we can see that by looking at your chart, be like, okay, this person loves fatty, sugary foods, you know what I mean? And this is probably where this is going to show up. So this is where your diet starts to, you, you start to see like breakdowns within your diet or breakdowns in your health, especially if Pluto's moving through your sixth house of your day to day life where you start to get slow and sluggish and you're like I can't live like this anymore I need to revamp and Pluto will say look look here look here look here these are the issues this, these are a uh, direct result of the actions that you've been taking in the life that you've been living you need to change it or I'm gonna 
it's going to eventually kill you. And that's the crazy thing because, or it's going to put you in the hospital because if this, if Pluto is moving through your sixth house, all of the houses are connected. All of the, the entire astrology chart is connected. So the sixth house sits directly opposite the 12th. The sixth is your day-to-day -day routine, your day-to-day -day lifestyle. The 12th is things that confine you, hospitals, mental institutions, prisons. So if your day-to-day -day life is something that is not constructive and not healthy, then you're going to end up hospitalized. You're going to end up in jail. You're going to end up in a, a psych ward you know what I mean or worse or living in a, a, a life that your worst fears keep manifesting whatever that fear is so when Pluto goes retrograde that's what it's bringing it's saying look we need to we want to revamp let's say Pluto rules your fifth house of creation and creativity and um, dating and fun and pleasure and, and love and romance in a lot of ways when Pluto starts going direct in that or starts going retrograde, the people that you're dating or how you date or how you create and how you express yourself has to change 100% and you start to see things kind of falling apart. You start to, I don't want to say get that you get inspired because Pluto doesn't really inspire you, but it, it will create a chance for you to totally overhaul how you've done things, a business, your fun. Um, or maybe you even go introverted. Maybe you even go internally because the the type of fun that you've been having doesn't actually isn't actually fun for you. If that makes any sense, I'm seeing that in a lot with my friends now, where they're like, you know, we used to drink, we used to go out, we used to go to bars, and now things are just changing. Now, now it's like, what is it that I find joy and pleasure in? And it's because Saturn and Pluto are making their cycles, and everything comes in a wave. Um, everything comes in a little timetable. So when we're, in, when we're in our 30s, we start, to sh we start to change how we do things because that cycle is starting to complete. <clears throat> but now that Pluto is finally going direct, we have learned, hopefully, um, most of the lessons that Pluto was assigned to teach you when he was retrograde. And he started going retrograde around April 22nd of this year, 2018. Um, that's when I'm filming this video, but let's say if I keep this video in the future, then, um, you know, I'll put the dates down below, but in, at the timing of this video, he was rich, he was retrograde since April 22nd. And during that time, this is when we are again, having to go through this massive amount of change and transformation. And sometimes it's uncomfortable, but it's and sometimes it's really painful. And that's the other thing too, is that Pluto honestly doesn't care about your feelings. It doesn't care about you being sensitive. It doesn't care about your ego. It doesn't care about your appearance. It cares about you living an authentic life that is rich and has meaning to it and purpose to it and having people and things around you that have meaning and purpose and that aren't just filling up space. So the worst thing that you can do during those retrograde periods and even as he goes direct, because he's still going to train, change and transform things, but he's just directing his attention elsewhere. So when he, when he was retrograde, he was looking at these past issues, so past people, past relationships. You might have had this complete purge in your life of old, like a relationship that you were in, or a job that you were in, or a situation that you were in, and then when it was retrograde, it broke down completely. But now that it's broken down, and again, we see this in nature, that when things die, they break down, they turn into compost, and that compost creates the most fertile soil. Um, Hawaii is amazing for that because their climate, or the Caribbean is very amazing for that because their the climate is so warm and so hot that it breaks things down faster versus holding on to them. So because of that, you have these longer growing periods and you have fruit that is bigger and richer and um, more flavorful, like my mouth is watering as I say it, because it has gone through this transformation instead of holding on to it. So that's a metaphor for your life is that when there's things that are being broken down and there's things that are being taken over or dead and dying, you want to release it. The worst thing that you can do is to hold on to things during a Pluto retrograde and also a Pluto, Pluto transit within that area of your life because you're holding on to something that is dead and dying and you are going to create infec infection, you're going to create dysfunction, you are going to stay in this spot, like swallow, like stay in this spot where of just pain and suffering and emotional like, you know, 
like pity and just it's just negative it doesn't feel good when if you look at it for what it is is that if this area has been removed out of your life then you damn sure better believe that this is where when Pluto goes direct this is when you're gonna start to see that area of your life completely transforming and I don't know about you but I'm ready for that I want complete transformation I've already listened to what the cosmos were trying to guide me and that's where I'm here now. If I resisted it, I would still be in the same stagnant space, not trying, not growing, not thriving, not prospering because I didn't have the balls to trust. And I'm not saying that it's easy because it's not. Pluto will push you and, and, and trigger all of your fears because that's what Pluto does. Pluto rules the fear. Pluto rules the underworld. And that's something terrifying to look at. But you're bigger than that and you match that energy, but you just need to, to, to step into that space and own it and be ready and be prepared and to trust and to take the steps and to learn the lessons that these planets are trying to give to you and to serve you. So now that Pluto is finally, um, oh my mom's text, oh my God, 11-11, I'm not kidding. That's so crazy, see how, see how that works? I literally just looked at my phone. I can't see the clock right now. Um, that's so that's so cool uh, sorry guys um, yeah so I, I wrote down some notes so I didn't forget anything so we pretty much covered everything breakdowns changes ending manipulation lying possession connections soul addictions possessions all of these things are things that are connected to Pluto when they're retrograde you have to revisit the things that possess you the things that manipulate you relationships that probably need to break down or transform. I'm not saying that every relationship has to break down, but sometimes as we grow um, individually, and as we grow in a relationship, the aspects of that relationship has to change and it has to shift. And that's what Pluto is doing is it's looking at, okay, this aspect of your of your love life or this aspect of the two of you guys needs to be removed and wiped out in order for you to grow and experience this. So then when Pluto goes direct, you're like, okay, we're gonna do this differently. We're gonna do this together. Um, and it ultimately ends up being for your best self for both of you guys, especially if, as you're going through your own personal transformations because you have the chart of your chart, you have your partner's chart, and then you have the chart of you guys together. And both of the, all three of those things are under the, the influence of the same planet, Pluto. So um, what that person, what person A is going through in their transformation is helping them to grow and to evolve, which ultimately impacts their partner. Same with person B. And their relationship as a whole, as their dynamic changes, it starts to change, ultimately. So, um, yeah, during the retrograde, um, you're going to be kind of forced to look at things that need to be adjusted and reevaluated and shifted. And it's painful. It's scary. But hopefully you're staying open. I'm staying open. That's why I'm in a good space right now. I'm not stuck in anything that's stagnant. And um, now that Pluto is direct, the area of, the, of my house that Pluto rules, now it's I've learned those lessons, I've done those things, I've seen all that I've seen, I've let go of what I need to let go of. Hopefully you've done the same thing too. If not, you're gonna struggle, you know what I mean? It's gonna be more difficult as Pluto goes direct. It's not too late to let go of it now, just kind of revisit what you should do is you should look at April 22nd, uh, around April 22nd, and what's been happening and what in your life has been wiped out and removed. For me, um, I don't wanna get into my personal details, but for me, I can see obvious changes. So now that I can see that, now that I let go of that, now I can see that now that Pluto's direct, now we are on a different, we're in a different ball game. Like we're playing on a different field. So the, the rules change, but we're also more apt to do better, to receive better, to experience better. So I'm here for it. Um, I wrote down the notes too, old areas are refreshed and, and create fertile soil and compost. Yeah, it's a serious wipe out, a serious cleansing, a serious clean, uh, cleaning. Um, oh yeah, Pluto moves very slowly, so these changes tend to be very um, deliberate. Um, they're felt over time, but that doesn't mean that it's like every day is painful. It really shouldn't be unless you've got like a 12th house transit. Sometimes when people are going through that, it can really bring up, you know, aspects of yourself where you need to really heal um, and go within and ask for help, especially like guidance or a counselor or anything like that really helps it. But for the most part, it's just about building and learning and growing and thriving and creating a fertile environment. And the, you just never want to resist it. You never want to 
fight back and push back. Um, if it's money, because Pluto also rules money and loans and um, finances and that type of stuff, resources, then if you experienced a lack or if you saw like, okay, this is how I was spending my money or how I was living my life is not conducive to the life that I, I need to live, it's not supporting me, it's not healthy, it's not good, then that's something else that will be uh, revamped and, and looked at and done differently. All right, you guys. So I hope that that makes sense. Um, again, last thing I want to say is that the these transits, especially with Pluto and Saturn, they're not easy. They're not the easiest, but they're not designed to be easy. Um, and I, I want to acknowledge the fact that some of you guys are really going through it. You guys are really having emotional time, especially if you look back since April 22nd. There's probably been a, a major thing that has happened to you that might have break, broken you down and had you on your knees crying or scared or really tested you and expected the most from you and um, that's normal but now that Pluto is direct and now that you've gone through all the all of those things um, and Pluto goes direct on September 20th for those uh, 28th I'm sorry September 30th Wow so Pluto goes direct on September 30th which is today the day that I'm filming um, now that you've gone through those those changes um, you have to be so open to what's going to happen and what is occurring and what is budding into your life because now the soil is actually fertile because the compost has been created by the death of the things that have been released and what has happened before. And that's something to get excited about. That's something to be in awe over is how protective the universe is over me and you and what can happen if you trust what can happen if you let go, loosen your need to control. That's another thing too that Pluto rules is control. We don't have control over everything and sometimes we have to give it to another source, another power in order to help us in ways that we wouldn't be able to help for ourselves and what that does is it opens up for miracles and it opens up to your destiny and ultimately a positive karma. And I don't know about you, but that's what I want. You know what I mean? So I'm saying, I want to say um, a big blessing over everyone that's watching this video now that if you're watching this, that the area of your life that has transformed the most, that it be so prosperous now that Pluto is direct, that we experience the largest amount of blessings, that our hearts are open to receive it, that we are not fearful as much as we are excited. And if we are fearful that we are, we are able to put ourselves in a, in a space where we're able to pray, to set intentions, and to gain our, our power back. And also to let go of that control to the higher power. I wanna thank the universe, I wanna thank the cosmos, I wanna thank the divine for looking out for me and for you. I wanna thank them for everything that they've let go of because now that I'm looking back at it, I'm like, bah! You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, I, I, if I would have stayed there, I would have stayed there. And that would have been the worst thing is if I would have stayed there and knowing my heart and my commitment to things, you know, it just, some of those things that are, that we released, that we let go of, they didn't deserve us, you know? So I just want to speak major blessings over our life and that now that Pluto is direct, that these changes that are happening, that damn, I just hope that they are massive and that they are so good and so positive and they will be if we stay flexible and if we stay open, all right? So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Honestly, this is everything. I'm so grateful and I didn't realize too like how much I was ready to be in a different space and to do things differently including this like not even having the internet and just talking to you guys in this way feels really good I don't like editing videos that much um, and just being more slow and more purposeful is gonna be so good for me and ultimately if I'm still filling my cup then I'll be able to give to you guys on a deeper better level so um, yeah, you know blessings on your life and I'll see you guys in my next video Make sure that you're subscribed hit that thumbs up button. Maybe turn on your notifications um, Again, the YouTube videos or the YouTube channel is gonna be more of a focus while I'm here down in New Orleans um, Because I'm gonna be creating more time for myself And if there's anything that you would like to see if there's any questions that you have I'm more than happy to answer them for you until then. I'll see you soon. Bye